Fernando's looking good, you know. Um, I would say uh, Fernando has really started to develop his uh, ground game, which is going to be pretty interesting seeing in this fight. I know he's been working pretty close with uh, his striking coach, Coach Janix. Oh, he, he put a lot of work in this one. I mean, pretty much this is the first time I saw him like put a, like 110% effort on this, uh, this fight. You know, I see him twice a week. He comes up to Carlsbad, he trains no gi with us. Um, his training has been going pretty well in essence to see the development in the past like six months. He went from just like kind of like a hard-nosed wrestler kid into starting to develop more grappling skills. I mean, he, he works in a lot of jiu-jitsu in this fight, wrestling and jiu-jitsu, and we just kind of like review a lot of his striking, uh, striking abilities. He's looking good, um, so he's been improving a lot on his uh, ground games, his jiu-jitsu, uh, his striking is looking pretty good actually. He's, he's a freestyle striker, uh, he's more of a boxer as well, um, his, kick, his kicks are getting a little better, but he's a little more, more of a boxer. So um, this fight came together because I was, I was always buying my manager for a fight, but there was not a lot of shows because of COVID. So as soon as uh, Mark knew about this fight, uh, he, he called me and then I, we took the fight, we were ready to fight. I think this fight is going to be more uh, on the grappling side because uh, we did a little search about the guy and he's, he's a jiu-jitsu guy. We're ready to go.